It's about being strong, it's about being fierce, it's about being free, beautiful and pretty and sensual and sexy. For me, it's letting go and holding on at the same time and it's feeling empowered in your own body to do amazing things and to feel passion and it's kind of a, a dear diary every time it's an expression of your inner feelings but it's also a coming together of women and people to kind of achieve fitness but also achieve something together. It helped me get through a pretty uh, extensive uh, eating disorder and some really bad feelings towards my body I held for a really long time uh, through my teens and early 20s. And it made me respect what my body can do, not just what it looks like. And it made me feel happy and empowered in my own skin. I didn't know that I could feel good within myself and it made me respect and love the strength that my body gives to me. When I teach and when I dance, I have to be on. I have to be the energy. But when I train at Chocolate Box, I get to immerse myself in everybody else's energy and absorb all of theirs in. It's not just executing a move, it's being able to make it look beautiful and effortless. So while you're holding your body weight up, you know, up the top of a pole, um, you have to make it look beautiful and like it's nothing at all. It made me realise that um, inner strength and outer strength can be achieved within my body. Some women hide a lot and some of us feel really overwhelmed or buried in the expectations or the assumptions that people make about who we are or who we're supposed to be. Whole strips all of that back and you get to be exactly who you are. Pole dancing came from stripping, came from the clubs, came from women uh, earning money and being badasses. What I would say to people who think pole dancing is stripping is, it is, but it's about 50,000 other things as well. to be home.